Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys exactly how you can lower your pack of loss, get rid of it completely, and everything like that. Ruko Fusio Stars, so please scratch on if you guys are new. We are trying to hit 34,000 subscribers as soon as possible, and I do appreciate every single person that does sub to the channel and turn on notifications. If you guys want to support me even more, though, you do support using code KDOG in the item shop. It is the best way to support me, and it really does help me out a lot more than you guys think. Chapter 5 is coming out next week, and I'm going to be giving away some battle passes, so if you guys want to have a chance to win one of the battle passes just use my code in the item shop subscribe to the channel and then comment down below done once you've done both of those things without further ado though i'm done yapping i'm not trying to waste your time here let's get straight into this video all right so starting off with if you are on a console the first thing you want to do is you want to go and you want to change your dns settings if you don't know how to do that basically you just go into your network settings and then you go to settings and then you go to set up inter internet connection and then you go all the way to the bottom where it says set up manually and then from here you'll just click um i'm pretty sure you click use Wi-Fi and then you click um, enter manually and then you go to DNS settings and then pretty much you just change the DNS settings to manual and then the DNS setting that you want to use for primary is 1.1.1.1 and then the secondary one is 1.0.0.1 that is one of the best ones you can use if you guys want to try out the google public dns it is 8.8.8.8 .8 and the secondary is 8.8.4.4 there's just two separate ones you could use the google one is usually a lot more fold up though and um the reason why you would want to change your dns setting is because there will be less people on that actual connection server and so it'll help your pack loss to hopefully be better switching over to the pc side of things now if you guys want to um remove your pack loss on a pc the main thing i can really recommend you guys to do do is by getting something called the exit lag this isn't sponsored or nothing like that i've just heard from pretty much every single pc player that does use exit lag that it does help not only their pack of loss but it also does reduce their ping as well especially because if um the servers now especially if you're playing like central tournaments they're all in texas so if you live somewhere like california or like maine or like new york or one of those like places that are more on the coastal lines and it's not towards the center of the u.s where the servers are at your ping is going to be a lot higher in general so using exit exit it lag can actually help to reduce that and it can also help remove your packet loss as well some of the pretty obvious things that you guys should all know by now is something like getting an ethernet cable obviously it does help out a lot but if you're someone like me who can't get an ethernet cable because i do play in the basement and my wi-fi box is upstairs i get something called a wi-fi extender so pretty much what a wi-fi extender is it is like a middle point for your router and your actual console so i have my wi-fi extender in my basement living room and then my wi-fi box is upstairs and then my room is like right next to my base in the living room so it's pretty much just like a middle point so the um wi-fi from my main router goes into my wi-fi extender and then my wi-fi extender puts it over to my console so pretty much you just connect your console to your wi-fi extender instead of your actual um router I hope i explained that well that was a little bit confusing i feel like but um one of the main tips i have for you guys if you are going to get a wi-fi extender they are a little bit kind of pricey they're probably around like 100 bucks 80 bucks something like that but trust me they are worth it and they really do help out a lot um make sure that you do get one of the extenders that is the same company as whatever router you have so for me i have um xfinity internet so i got an xfinity wi-fi extender i just feel like those work better than ones that aren't with the same company i've probably had like five or six extenders in my whole life and the best one or the one that i've been sticking with for the past couple years has been the one that is the exact same one as my actual internet company finally some obvious things is make sure that you aren't downloading anything in the background that you're playing i know that really does like pack loss goes crazy when you're downloading something so say like i'm playing fortnite or something but like my madden is updating in the background that'll make my pack loss bad for probably like two hours straight sometimes you just won't realize it to be honest and it's just a simple mistake but just make sure you're not downloading or updating anything at the same time as you're trying to actually play Fortnite or whatever game you're trying to play. And then finally, just making sure you don't have any um, older applications open at the same time. Like say you were watching a YouTube video and then you hop straight on Fortnite or say you're like trying to listen to music at the same time. I know a lot of people do like listening to music the same time they're playing, but it's gonna give you more input delay. It's going to make your game more laggy and it might not like directly correlate with pack loss, but it will definitely make your game feel a lot worse. So maybe just make sure that you are restarting starting your um whole console or your pc before you actually do open fortnite so it is like the only thing actually open other than that though that is pretty much all for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video and it helps you out at all please drop a like on the video right now subscribe to the channel if you guys are new remember we are trying to hit 34,000 subscribers as soon as possible and i appreciate every single person that has subbed to the channel one last thing remember use code kdong in the item shop if you guys want to watch the rest of this video all the way through i would greatly appreciate it as it really does help me out to support me even more and help me to be able to pay for college 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video though, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.